I want to take a minute to give my honest review about these uh, Kurgo dog water bowls. And so we have two of these. We got these for a road trip uh, about two years ago. And this is kind of what they look like. We haven't cleaned them since that road trip. Um, and we use these in the car, different like little weekend trips and stuff. Uh, we'll take these camping and everything. Oh, I just filled it with water. Um, we did leave this in a kennel with our little young pup and he chewed that right off. So they're definitely not like durable in terms of um, chew proof by any means. Um, but this also has worked just fine ever since that one little incident we had. Um, these are really interesting and the reason we got these is because of this like lip. And we wanted to see if this would keep the water less like in the bowl, keep it in the bowl and less on the surrounding areas. And um, I would say like if you are looking at this as a solution for like in your kitchen and your dog's a pretty messy drinker and you're wondering if this will keep the area around it not wet, I will tell you that if your dog is a messy drinker, this is not going to be the solution that you're looking for. Now, I love these to take them like camping and different things. And then the obvious um, thing that you can see probably on the listing is like the um, slant of this bowl is actually particularly made to sit on a car seat like in the seat of a car. So it's basically keeping the water level and in the bowl. And if you're taking your dog on like a longer road trip or something, then you can have this in the car and not worry so much about it spilling. Now I can definitely confirm that it works for that use. It's actually pretty wild and pretty amazing design for that. Um, so we use it for that all the time. We take it camping, so we'll go drive like six hours or something. We can have water in the bowl, in the, in the car for the dogs. Um, which is really nice and keeps them hydrated because when we uh, land in our destination, usually for camping and stuff, we're hitting the ground running with hikes and stuff. So we don't want them to get dehydrated. So that's really what we've used it for, um, camping and travel in the car. And I can confirm that it really does work in terms of that use case. Again, um, if you're looking for like an around the house way to hopefully like have this lip here, keep the dogs uh, from making a mess with the water, like in your kitchen or something. This is uh, not your best solution. And I actually have another video um, about the solution that we did find that we can now keep their water bowls in their kennel and they do not make a mess whatsoever. This is awesome um, for the car seat application. And yeah, um, very, very squishable, very packable, you know? I mean, it just is. And um, sometimes I think these are, we like using these. We actually do mostly like using these more than the like collapsible ones um, that just like fold up. I think these are a little more robust. They can fit more and they're not gonna tip over, which is really nice. Just a really solid base. Our dogs are like 55 pound pit mixes. And if um, <laughs> if we give them one of those collapsible ones, I mean, that thing's definitely getting tip over before the water is out. So um, I really like this much better for camping. It's just a way to set this up at the campsite. The lead that they're on isn't gonna knock it over and stuff. Um, so that's really nice. And I would definitely recommend it for that or the car, anything like that for sure. Highly, highly recommend. We love them and we'll have them for a long time to come.